I truly, truly hope that this lighting looks decent. Um, I actually just have this, like, um, it's kind of like that square that Alex Earl has, but I don't know how long that, the battery on that lasts either. I thought we would do, like, a cozy kind of get ready with me, even though it's not going to be for a cozy thing. I thought we would also talk about ballet, just all the fun stuff while I drink my coffee and kind of touch up my makeup. It's kind of, like, worn in because of the fact that I, uh got ready like at six in the morning and it is four so let me just finish touching this all up i'm gonna meet up with some of my friends and then i thought i would talk about some of my progress for like with ballet and my journey and stuff like that online uh so many people have just been like kind of doing ballet which is great and it's just like it's so different since like when i had first started you know because whenever i first started like a lot of people weren't not that they weren't talking about ballet, but it wasn't being documented as much as it is now, which is great. It's just so different. I remember when I was in high school and, or even like, so basically I didn't get the chance to do ballet when I was younger. I remember I did gymnastics for like a little bit and I thought that was so fun, but yeah, I didn't get to do ballet when I was younger and I was like super bummed out about it. And I thought like, as I was growing up, I was like, hopefully one day I get the chance to blah, blah, blah. And I lived in a small city, so I would look up, like, and I knew I was moving to where I am now, which is, like, a larger city. And I was just, like, looking up to see, like, if studios even offered that, if that was even a thing. And I remember it kind of looked like an intensive because they had, like, so many people in one classroom and then, like, you know, teachers and whatever. When you get older, I feel like you kind of get distracted and things like that. And, like, something that anchored me back down was my love for it. Um ultimately when like things were happening in my life. That's how I ended up starting that. But I do remember like looking that information up was so like rare. Like it was hard to find information about it. It was hard to find anything about it. And mostly it was videos of dancers that already danced and they were kind of documenting. And even then like a lot of, like there wasn't a lot of dancers posting videos online. So it brought me back to when I decided to start it, I realized that there were some adult classes that I wanted to do. I was super excited about that. Yeah, like I, I had started so many things one summer. I was like, let me just try everything that I've ever wanted to, to do. And I always say this story, but basically like I tried so many things. I did kickboxing, I did ballet, of course. And I also did um, like pole and I went ice skating that year, even though I'd already done it, but I just, I hadn't done it in such a long time. And it being one of those things that it's just like, oh, like you, you kind of like say it's like, oh, that would be fun. And then you kind of don't do it until you do. So that became one of those things. By the way, new favorite product. This is Patrick Ta. Obviously not sponsored. I wish. Uh, love. It, it's called She's a Doll or something like that. Yeah, She's a Doll. I literally have been like, this is like so ugly right now. But I love how it makes it just my face like look perfect pink. Right now it's like... I put it as a yellow kind of filter, so that's why it looks a certain way. That was that. Like, I just, I was so um, into ballet and stuff like that. And now where I'm at the point where I, not only is it being documented, I feel like it's catapulted. Like, it's been a, a, at a slow rise and slow in, uh, incline. And I feel like so many people talk about it and they're not upset, but just kind of like, like over, like a lot of dancers get really protective about it. And not at all saying that you shouldn't. <sighs> to an extent, I understand where they're coming from. But also, it's like you can like anything, in my opinion, as a non-dancer. Well, non-professional dancer, I guess. It's okay to like things at a surface level. And I'm not saying that I do, but I'm just also saying like, if people don't like know every intricate detail about ballet, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't like it. I don't know. Who even cares? It's become this like phenomenon on TikTok and just like influencing fashion, which is so cool. And here's the other thing though, ballet has influenced fashion years and years ago. I feel like one of the most memorable was in 2004. It was like a, uh, you know, a runway from, like a runway like look from Ralph Lauren in 2004. I think it was like spring 2004. It's always the silhouettes and the way that the fabric moves. And that's why you can't achieve just 
that's I'm sorry I'm like beco becoming a nerd right now about certain things but like um that's why it's hard to like replicate the look of ballet core through anything other than ballet clothes because there's so much detail in the way that the fabric moves and sits on the body with when it comes to ballet clothes. I have so many videos about it, but let's get into like my progress about it. Other than the fact that it's just like crazy, like now there's just so much content and it's accessible to everybody and like seeing other people's story and seeing like, okay, like, yes, I'm trying it out even casually or, you know, I just repicked it up again. It's just insane. Like I had someone on TikTok say like, hey, like right before I started all my classes, I watched your videos like religiously and I'm like, what the hell? Like. It, sometimes I take breaks from TikTok because it's so overwhelming, but truly the time is now for like ballet and TikTok. Um, it's just like a two in one. Like, I mean, it's like a two get, like it's, I don't know. It's influencing everything everywhere. Love to see it. It's just, it's truly an art form that I feel like I love and I love seeing other people either like finally get to experience if they've always wanted to or also fall in love with it. To me, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Let's talk about my progress though. This is another product that I actually have a little bit on, but it's been on for like a decent amount of time at this point because I've been awake for such a long time. But yeah, I already have some on and I love just like the natural dewiness that it gives to my face. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then sometimes I kind of go back in with um, highlighter just to kind of all blend it out together. By the way, this is the Merit Day Glow in Bounce. Basically, this is like a highlighter, but in a palm, in a balm, in a palm, in a balm. So basically, it's not powdery. It's more of a shimmer. And I don't know if you guys can kind of see. Like, you can apply it directly. Normally, I do it onto my fingers, and then I blend it in. Um, but it creates this, like, almost like you've been sweating, but, like, not just, like, in the right area. Like, can you guys see? And then, of course, blend it out. Anyway, I also like to add some like here-ish. I think it is better like when you do it like with your fingers and stuff, but I'm feeling lazy right now. I just love the look. It's just like very like dewy, clear skin, blend it out again. Cool. Then I also add, I think you can't, you can tell that like most of what I had on my nose is kind of gone. So going in with the finger and then Kind of there you go yeah and then we can add some here i guess another high point of the face i think i saw someone also add some here and i was like huh huh interesting i don't know how i feel about that because i have like super oily skin but i'll try anything several times and it just it just gives your face kind of like dimension like it almost like makes your cheeks pop a little bit i don't know very fun i've i i I've gone through this, like, I've been going through this so, like, I'm definitely, this is something that I will repurchase till the end of time because I just like how it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look shimmery, it just looks like it's your skin. So I have a damp beauty blender right here, and then we're gonna just top it off with the blush. An art form, like, doing this. Look at, I, oh my gosh, how could you guys not be obsessed with blush? Oh, I just, like, love how it all kind of blends together creates this perfect uniformed effect. I also have like so many moving parts in my life. So like another thing before we get into ballet, sorry, is just like I am transitioning to a different branch because the bank that I work for, our branch is closing, da 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 da. So I'm meeting all new people. There's something so even I guess you guys can apply this to like starting anything new like ballet and stuff. I mean, I it's kind of scary, definitely overwhelming. I think something that we always have to remind ourselves is that, like, if you don't like something, definitely don't stay in it for longer than you feel like you should. Um, so I'm just gonna add some shadow and then just blend it till the death. I'm about to put on falsies. Yeah, it's kind of it, it's kind of exciting but kind of crazy considering the fact that like I'm gonna be starting all over again. I don't know anybody in this area. Uh, hopefully, I get along with everybody. So many people, and if this is you, awesome, amazing, stunning. But so many people either have no experience or have experience and they're reaping it, picking it back up. And there's so much value in that considering the fact that, like, it is so much faster to learn that way. It's just easier to grasp. Like, 
it takes years guys to build to the point where you get to point like right now my teacher is mentioning going on point for for me and one of the other girls there but you know it truly truly takes years it's like a lot of a lot of passion dedication commitment to the craft that's why it's like a little bit easier when you have a background in it because then your progress your progress instead of looking like steady 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 a little higher a little lower it will kind of almost look at like an incline and ideally you'd wish that your that your progress also was that way with like having had no background i'm not sure which where you guys are at truly like no one <laughs> has more time on their hands than someone that's still in school so that's why your progress looks that way or will like kind of look almost um like go on an incline otherwise unfortunately like life gets in the way and it's something that my teacher always talks about you know it's like harder to get like adult dancers to be where they want to be considering that like everyone has life you know i feel like we just like run out of time when we're older and it's something that like i feel like i wish not that i would have known because it's like when you're younger it's like mm, you know anyone could tell you something you just won't believe them but it truly is something that i wish i could have somehow caught in a grasp you know somehow understood and maybe taken advantage of when i was younger after doing this for almost like three years on and off um finally again like finally after those years like and kind of getting better at learning combinations because that's such a challenge for me and I'm sure it is for a lot of dancers sometimes I, I can't help but like compare my journey to other dancers considering sometimes people go for like school and college and stuff and I'm truly not in like any school I just like show up to my local studio um, when I can and like here's the thing about my studio I go at nighttime and if it's like a small group of sorry if it's just like one person showing up like me um, my teacher will cancel the classes and it and if a group of us can go then you know she'll have class okay this is where what we're looking like it's kind of a little messy then I'm gonna go in with powder and then kind of smooth it all out even though I have a group of friends now definitely like that's something that I would recommend is like if you go to class try to become friends with some of the girls there because one they have like similar interests as you obviously considering you know all of y'all are interested in like this and two it can kind of be a way that we all hold each other accountable in a way i don't know if this is working right now um i'm having like a friend date basically where i'm hanging out with okay do you guys ever have friends that like are like two different worlds and then worlds collide because you're gonna have them meet each other that's what's happening so one has like an interest on meeting the other one because the other one has like a very interesting job to her and i'm like let's just fucking meet but yeah like my progress i'm like i'm finally getting to point and like guess what that's like three years in and like i'm not even on point yet i'm going to work towards getting to that because what i've been like kind of learning and catching up on so far is just like not that i guess you know everything else but that there's so much to learn and that's exciting so hopefully like if you guys are starting don't ever feel like down on yourself even though i was literally talking about how i'm like oh like can't help but compare and i feel like it's just human nature to kind of compare ourselves and be like oh you know my my journey doesn't look that way because i truly don't believe that like adults journey for the most part unless you're going several times a week which is great but like not everyone can um i feel like our story will never like look as linear as or at an incline as like other uh dancers that are trained to do it like professionally or like going to school for it and even if they're not going to school for it honestly like even if they go to school and they have like a schedule of like doing that after school you know what i mean anyway so it's hard not to compare but you know what it's still fun i still see your, my progress definitely film yourself if you can so you can kind of have uh, a way to look at your progress I wanted to let you guys know that like my teacher was like yeah we're gonna do that now and I'm like, yes, I'm still figuring out the hand thing. Like, you guys tell me what the hand thing is. Oh my gosh. And like, I actually haven't gone to ballet in like a little bit, but I kind of wanted to show you guys like what I've been learning. Hold on guys, I think I'm gonna show you. You're not gonna see my feet. So let's just try to kind of capture as much as I can in my bedroom. It's just like fucking funny too, how I talk about like how it's just like, I look at some of my recordings and then I'm like, what did I just do? Like, I don't even recognize myself. 
And like I got to the point where someone that was new was like, you look like you know what you're doing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's gonna be quiet. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. I think it was like, do, no wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, okay, there's this. Mm -hmm. Like just, I don't know, it's so beautiful, don't you guys think? Even though it's like, what was she doing? Like literally she was talking to herself and then doing nothing. Just so cool, like, just like love the idea of being like this way. And then back is this way. Pause it, play, pause it. And just like doing a plie and like just how much thought goes into like going straight down and like using your core to like feel like you're being pulled up almost like someone's assisting you also whenever you are you know on releve for anything just having like a little bit of grace that inch of graceness that you kind of maybe saw in there that was like kind of like messy or whatever but it was such a dream of mine and just like seeing them move like fairies like I literally think every ballerina is a fairy You guys feel me like they're not human. I guess I just wanted to talk about that Just how I've like learned so much and when I'm in class. I swear I remember things a little bit better I haven't gone in two weeks again. So, you know, like jet like just like learning words too. It's like jeté and then relevé plie okay those are easy there's other ones that I'm like okay that's what this means and it's just so much easier to follow along too when like you're there in the motion and like in class and stuff even though I didn't want to go yesterday now I'm like missing it I didn't want to go because I had like too much going on but yeah I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up and let you know that I am still going um it is still such a fun time it is still a lot of work I feel like that's one thing that I feel like naturally like we shouldn't we should know who we are Sometimes I'm like, this is who I am. Like sometimes when you feel like down or like lost, unsure about certain decisions that you were having to make in life, like it's like, I like knowing that this is part of something that I do truly identify with. Not just because it's like, oh, who cares about ballet? But it's really like pushing myself to learn something completely new. Also pushing myself in general to keep learning as a human. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys like my the aftermath of me getting ready. Because I think I am not late, but going to be late if I don't pay attention. So I think I'm just going to do my lips, then my hair, and then we're good to go. Literally ignore the fact that I, my background, <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. Normally, sometimes I go out in my work clothes. So like this could be it, and then I put a sweater on. So that's the vibe for today, more just of a chill look. Yeah, just a chill look. I haven't decided on, on shoes yet. But, hopefully you guys like my makeup and my hair. Look at the glow. Also, look at the glow. This one's sunscreen, by the way. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and catching up with me. I'm going to go see you guys super duper soon.